but in actual fact I had to do that as a bit of a two-handed job because everything was so tight on there. The next thing is these, uh, these double-ended bars are universal mount. So we need to put a spacer on and although you do get the spacers with the bars if you've got a husky saw you have to remove that screw that holds the plate on and then the spacer that slides mm -hmm. over like that and you don't quite go to the bottom so, so with that spacer just just gently tap it down not too hard and it will grip the bottom of the Oh, so in fact, I could probably go a bit. Might help if we use the right end of the hammer. Okay. That holds the plate on and also spaces this so that the universal bar mount fits uh, husky. So if you have a large steel mount, the very largest, it will, this, this bar will go straight on there. And if you've got, like, say, an MS-066, MS-660, again, you need a spacer, uh, which I've got uh, to fit those on here. So I put the chainsaw, you can see that, lower down. It's really fiddly fitting these long bars, so I've dropped that down. And then I'm going to go and get the chain made up now and get the bar so it's at the same level as that chainsaw there. We'll fit that in first, because with the inboard sprocket the chain's got to fit on the inside so you've always got to put the chain on the outside over whereas on the other husky 372 should be easier okay so i'll put the long bar on a piece of wood you can see how the spacer just here fits nicely in the bar make sure that spacer is not proud of the bar though because um, if it is, then all the pressure is on the chain tensioner. Even when you come to do up the, the bolts on the studs, all it does is grip the tech, is um, you never grip the bar itself. And so all the, you end up uh, snapping the chain tensioner then. So I'm now going to slot that into the bar. Uh, that doesn't look good. That looks much too long, that chain. So either the... Uh, bar is incorrect how many drive lengths it is or I've measured the chain incorrectly now that's going to be a pain anything with the 395 is the tensioner screws located not there but in there and that's a pain when it comes to milling so we'll do most of the tensioning when it's on the mill on the 372 which means we want to make sure that this tensioner is not sort of close to being fully extended because chain this long is going to stretch and steel chain is uh, pre-tensioned but looking at the chain scale I don't think the ripping chain is pre-tensioned it seems to draw all the other steel chains always go past on the chain scale but the uh, the ripping chain doesn't which is a bit of a nuisance here it is all set up now um, this is going to be the main driving saw, 395, so that's in the normal milling position. So we'll be milling in this direction. And then 372 is in this direction. That's almost like they're going to be the helper saw, hopefully. You've got to watch the, on it's on the other side, but um, another, when you want to tension it, that it's quite a small tensioning screw on that, so be a bit careful of breaking that. When you look at the actual 56 inch mill itself, that's the handle and rail set there. And you can see that will fit. To give you the maximum 56 inch cut. And hopefully just a little bit of space on either side as well. So it's all set up. Couldn't really take any pictures of setting up because uh, it's all two handed, but uh, it's all fueled up. All nice and new and shiny and hopefully it'll work straight off the bat. The 372 is playing up slightly, I, had a, I think it's got a leaky fuel heart pipe or something but uh, hopefully that should still idle okay. 
And put extra braces there because a few people have snapped the alley cast bits at the end. If you reinforce those, that should be fine. I've done that at each end. There's a bit of space between the mill and the saw. This is a 72 inch double ended bar, but it just really gives you that full 56 inches of cut there. Yeah, no, no rough tooling. Anything with those Husky 395s, I really need that bigger tensioner. But the trouble is, it's the way that's mounted is that it's an end, it's because it's an old fashioned saw. Is it tensioner that, tension that way? So I might be able to get something in there. But you might find the chain, the worst thing that really can happen is the chain will just derail. But it won't, you know. Yeah. And this, uh, also this one's been playing upside. 17, hopefully, yeah, it will work nicely now. I can go that in there. Yeah. Got your chance to roll it. Yeah, I'll make sure I've got my He's rolling.
Oh, we've got a little bit of black line there as well. Oh, it's quite nice actually. 